Um, I'm gonna try to show you all how to take it down very quickly. This is the uh, takedown pin, okay? It's actually the uh, slide stop and slide release lever, okay? Kind of like a, I'll say 1911, okay? What you do is you have two little lines here that you have to line up, one in the frame right here, one in the rail right here, or actually, yeah, one in the rail right here, or slide right here. What you do is you push back, kind of like on the Glocks. Which I got used to hands for this. Push back and line them up, okay? She got them line up right there. You flip the gun around and you push on that tab that I told you. Tap should push clear through, pull on the tab. Gun is gonna slide forward and lock, okay? You have to pull the trigger to get the slide to release from the uh, frame. Aim in a safe direction, pull your trigger, slide comes right off. Or Uh, one thing that you just saw there, remember to keep the trigger pressed after you pull it and it will hold the, um, it will help you release the slide. It won't keep the gun in, okay? Uh, I wanna show you something that I'm not very fond of, but it's, it's what it is, okay? This gun, as you can see, the only actual metal rails that it has on the frame are on the very back. It does not have any type of metal frames on the front. So the actual frames are the, uh, the rails that the frame uh, or the slide rides on are all polymer, okay? Meaning this, this gun after a whole bunch of abuse and a whole bunch of rounds will actually fail on you. Um, I know polymer technology is very advanced and you can have very strong and resistant polymer, but once again, maybe if you don't use it as a blinker and shoot three, 400 rounds every time you go to the range with it, you'll get a longer life from this gun. Okay, it's meant to be a backup or a concealed carry, something that you keep in your holster and you practice at the range, not something that you go to the range and just blast everything you see with it. Okay, what I like about the cars is that they look a lot like the Glocks. Most of the functions and the parts on it are meant to be simple and um, usable parts. It doesn't have anything that it doesn't need to have, it doesn't have any extra parts to get in the way or to break. Um, same thing as a Glock. It has a simple recoil spring and guy rod, okay? Barrel is just like the high power browning locking mechanism. Um, slide is solid metal, solid construction. It's actually the only part that feels heavy on the gun. And it's stainless steel, as I can see, or I hope it is. If not, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, it looks like a stainless steel. Um, like I said, it's very heavy, carries a lot of weight, and it's very solid. It cleans easy. What I do to clean it, when I come back from the ranges, I use, um, you might not like this, but I use a cotton ball. Okay, it's very easy to take most of the dirt with a cotton ball without leaving any pieces of uh, cotton behind. Okay. And it's a breeze to clean. Like I said, you run a couple of, um, Cotton balls through it, it'll take all the dirt and grind from the rail or from the slide. Um, when you go to put it back together, actually, while we're here, uh, to oil it, you use is three simple rules, you know, uh, it's a three to one method. Okay, you put oil in three places on the frame or on the slide, put oil on the rails here, you put oil where the barrel sits in the front of the rail right here or in front of the slide right here. And you put oil here on this part right here that pushes up against the uh, mechanism of the firearm, the trigger mechanism. Just here. Don't try to put oil where the um, where the guy right goes or where the firing pin goes because that might just cause more dirt to get attached in there and it just makes it worse. Okay? Uh, on the barrel, it's the part where you put oil in two places. One, oil the barrel itself, the barrel surface itself. Okay? Lightly. Don't, don't coat it to where it's heavy, just to where you see a kind of little bit of a shim on it. Okay? Put a little bit of oil on the locking mechanism of the barrel. That way nothing has any frictions or anything like that. Don't put any oil on the actual feet ramp. That might just cause problems for you. And the one part that you put oil on the frame is just on the back rails. Okay, that actually hold the frame in place. Just put a little bit of oil on each and you should be good to go. There should be no need for you to um, oil this part right here on the back. Okay, as you see when you pull the trigger. As a part that releases the um, 
iron pin. Shouldn't be any oil going in there. Surely nothing there other than a spring on that um, mechanism coming from the front. Okay, no oil on the trigger either. So remember, a three, two, one step, three times on the front on the slide, two times on the barrel, one time on the frame. Put it back together, just like you saw me take it apart. Okay. First one, insert the barrel. In and down. Then you insert your spring guy rod. It's gonna take a little bit of strength. Make sure it's seated properly. And then simply just run the frame back on the barrel. Rack it back till you line it up properly. Or actually, before you do that, okay? As you can see that hole there. If you rack it back before you have it lined up properly, or if you rack it back before putting the pin, okay, inside the hole, this is what's gonna happen. You see? You line it up in the notches and then try to put the pin in, it's not gonna go in. So what you do is, as per car's instructions, search your pin, almost all the way through, okay? Once you have it at that position right there where it's barely um, touching the frame, you're gonna position the uh, slide notch and the frame notch together. Once it's there, you push in on the tab. And presto, it's all done. Make sure to always function check your firearms after putting them together. Aim in a safe direction, pull the trigger. Hold the trigger down. Rack the slide manually here for the trigger to reset. Pull the trigger one more time. The firearm is now safe again, and you can put it back in your storage or wherever it might be.